Hi everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. Today I am turning a piece of wood that my husband had tracked down. He has been eyeballing this tree that's in our local town for years. And he happened to come home from work and he heard chainsaws. And every time he hears chainsaws, he's on the hunt for um, where this noise is coming from. So he found the location of the the chainsaw on it was this tree that he has been eyeballing and the people wanted to cut, you know cut down because I'm assuming that it was bad it, what we got of the tree looked like it had some rot at the base but we ended up with this beautiful Norway maple tree and the character that's in all this wood is just absolutely amazing so that's what I'm turning today, a piece of that. Now this wood is extremely wet. Um, I checked it with the moisture reader and the moisture content is roughly um, anywhere from 22 in certain spots to 30%. So I am expecting it to shift and probably warp, crack, whatever. I don't care. I want this piece to turn um, the way it's going to if it was dry and naturally. So I'm going to turn it, I'm going to add some feet to it, and I'm just going to let nature take its course. So um, however it turns out, it turns out in the end. Um, I'm hoping that it stays together and there's hardly any cracking, but we will see when that time comes. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll jump back in later on to let you know what as I'm going what I'm doing. I'm going to put down my Hurricane 5 8th bowl gouge because I got a new tool and I want to share it with you. Um, it's from Hunter Tool Systems and it is a number one stabilizer tool. And just kind of a little information on the guy behind it. His name is Mike Hunter. He's been wood turning for um, over 30 years and he wanted to make the best quality turning tool. Um, and I'll read you some of the information that I have about the, the tool and how, it, how you use it. Now, this was uh, directed towards the beginner or occasional wood turner that would struggle with an ordinary bowl, bowl gouge inside of a bowl, you know, when you want to ride the bevel in that swing that you have to have. This kind of helps with that and helps eliminate a lot of that. Now, it, it cuts very nicely. I mean, it it's cuts really good. Now, when I'm using it on the outside of the bowl, and it kind of talks about the inside of the bowl, but it works really well on the outside also. And I'm tilting it up a little bit to get kind of a um, not such aggressive cut. It's almost like a, a, a sheer cut, I guess is what you call it. Um, now, on the inside, you want to make sure that you uh, use your Force a bit and draw it to center. It just makes it so much easier to turn it inside of a bowl when that is completely gone. That part of the bowl does not spin as fast as the rest of it. So with that being said, it's, it, it makes your job so much easier just to remove that and it works really well to do that with the um, number one stabilizer. And I'm telling you what, Hunter tools are the way to go. I mean, you will not be disappointed with the, this tool at all. I mean, it's great. It feels great in your hand. It cuts with ease. And it is very well balanced um, also as a tool. And I like that. So I will have that information in the description below. Go check it out. And you know what? If you don't have one, you need to get one because it is amazing. I would put all my rest of my round carbide cutters up and use this all the time hands down the best 
I have in my collection. I also want to add that I am not sponsored by Hunter Tool Systems. I'm just a girl trying on a new tool and giving my two cents to you all on um, how it works and how I like it. So uh, I hope my two cents helps you make a de uh, decision on what carbide tool you want to use. Um, this in here just so happens to be now my favorite of all. So. Um, I just wanted to share that. I will let you guys watch the rest of the video and I will jump back in here in a little bit. If you made it this far and you're new, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. Give me that thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I am getting really close to 2,000 subscribers. I'm not going to do a drawing for 2,000. I will at 5,000 and it'll be a big one. So help me get there. I'm sure you guys noticed that I'm missing some video footage. I did not want to subject you guys to the torture of watching blurry footage. So I scrapped those two clips and uh, just went ahead with this one because I knew that I was uh, I had a part that um, had the use of the Forstner bit in this clip. So um, you will see that coming up. But I want to read you a description of the Hunter Tool Stabilizer. And it says that if it's most useful to drill a hole the depth of your piece, um, so that way it makes it easier to remove the material on the inside. That goes with any um, bowl you are turning if you're new. If you use a Forstner bit and you take out the, the center part of the bowl, it is so much more easier to remove that material if that, that center part is gone because it's not spinning as fast as the the rest of the inside of the bowl. So to remove that makes it just a little bit easier to um, complete the inside of a bowl. Um, but I did want to jump in and let you know that. Um, sorry about the footage and that you didn't get to see from the very beginning, but at least you got to see some of it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far and I will jump back in uh, in a little bit to keep you updated on what I'm doing. I wanted to put three legs on this bowl. Now the spacing on it is a little off, but it did not mess up the, um, you know, like if you put weight in it, it, it's, it doesn't tip or anything like that. It's, that's fine. It's just, I guess the looks of it is not, um, eye appealing, but, um, it, it works. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Something that I learned and I took away from this is to make sure that it's, I have everything spaced out properly for the next time that I decide to do this. Um, every time you turn, or every time I turn, I learn something new about myself and um, you know something that I can use the next time I turn as uh, a tool um, to where I don't make that mistake again. So jot this down in my book, make sure the spacing on the legs are perfect and I won't have to uh, stare at this bowl and think, why in the world did I do that? But other than that, I am using the Cutsaw Rotary Burr to, to do this job. It worked perfectly. I will have a link in the description below. I am not sponsored nor affiliated by them whatsoever. I just have their product and I like to use it. So um, that is in the description. If you are interested in my sponsor links, I have two in there. There's Starbond and there's Axe Paste. If you need to stock up on Starbond, I can help you with that. And if you need to stock up on Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste, I can help you with that. All right, I will jump back in here in a little bit.
I received a couple stickers in the mail. You're going to see me try to look over here. It's because I'm holding my camera sideways so that way it's, you know, not weird black on each side. Um, it's really hard to look in one spot and not look over here when you want to. But I did receive a couple stickers in the mail and I'll start with the first one and it's from Doug from Pole Barn Productions. Doug, thank you so much for your sticker. I will put that on my sticker board and your information will be in the description below. My second one comes from uh, Marco Woodturning. He does not have a YouTube channel yet. We are looking forward to you starting one someday. So keep that in mind. We would like to see you on here. Um, also, he does have a Facebook page. I will make sure that I post that information in the description below. But thank you so much, John, for your sticker. I will put this on my sticker board. And um, he also has a QR code. I don't know if you can scan that through your TV or not, but I will make sure that when I reverse the camera, I show that and make sure you have your phones ready and scan that so you can get to his Facebook information. All right, guys, I'm going to reverse the camera and share those stickers. All right. The first one is John's. There's his QR code. I'll wait for a little bit and let you guys scan. And then we got Doug at Polwarn. Guys, thank you so much. I will make sure I have your information in the description below. I sanded from 80 grit and I went through all the grits clear up to 320. I'm not going to bore you with the sanding process because we all know how to do it. So I'm going to skip ahead. I found one little spot that needed my attention and I decided to use Starbond Medium and the Starbond Accelerator just to fill in this little void and I'm going to use some shavings, that's all. I want to keep the natural look of this. So shavings and Starbond CA glue, that's the the trick. So if you're interested in some Starbond, I could save you 10% off. All you have to do is enter that coupon code TBTR at checkout. All right, guys, it's in the description. Please go check them out. I wanted a pop of Keller, but I didn't want to use paints or dyes, so I decided to use a torch and burn the rim. I don't think it took away from the bowl. I think it actually helped bring the green pattern out in this piece. I'm wiping it back with denatured alcohol before I apply the Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste. If you are interested in the Axe product for a gift for this holiday season, great news. They are going to gift wrap it free of charge for you. All you have to do is make sure that you attach that memo to your order saying this is a gift for so and so. And where it says ship to, make sure you put their address in it and it'll ship straight to their house. That is awesome. I mean, it can't get any better than that, especially with COVID and stuff. You know, there's a lot of people that you can't see and you know that they're like woodworking people and you want to give them a nice gift. This is a nice gift. I mean, you can't ask for a better gift than um, Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste. It is hands down one of my favorite finishes. Um, with that being said, make sure that you enter the coupon code TANYA15, save yourself 15% off, and uh, make sure that you also think about the smaller kits. If you're not wanting to spend uh, money on a bigger kit, the smaller kits, they'll gift wrap those too, and they make great stocking stuffers. Um, just saying, um, so you might want to consider that as well. In between each coat of tried and true original, after it's set up, I denibbed it with a white scotch bright pad. I 
All right, guys, we made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you made it this far, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. Stills are at the end, guys. I hope you enjoy them. Remember, don't forget to check the description below. There's a whole bunch of links in there of different things that I use and sponsor links as well. Until next week, guys. Goodbye.